the successful narcissist. Welcome to this channel, Narc Delusion. The successful narcissist. How does that work? Despite being successful, the narcissist has development and emotional issues and combine that with inadequate, inferior thinking and a limited, selfish outlook. The narcissist, even the successful narcissist, has a lot of problems defining who they are behind the mask. The successful narcissist is articulate and clear about who the mask is. The narcissist has very unclear boundaries about who they are. This is true even for the narcissists that are very successful. The successful narcissist has one or more strengths that they are very good at. And that is the reason how and why the narcissist is able to rinse and repeat with a continuous line of supply, leaving many narcissistic abuse survivors on the road behind them. Even though the successful narcissist has many personal issues that remain unresolved, the successful narcissist has an elevated image, which is their mask. This type of malignant narcissists also expend a lot of their energy and brain power focused on toxic behaviors, stealing time and attention from various supply. Despite the fame, success, and wealth, these successful narcissists have very negative behaviors and thoughts that they are covert about, showing only one of their many faces to supply or their flying monkeys. The successful narcissists demand a lot of attention and are angry when the supply is away doing other things. While much of their brain is focused on staying successful and maintaining control and dominance, much of their thinking is childish, immature, undeveloped, and unutilized. They are not clear on many aspects of who they are, and there is a lot going on with their abandonment issues. Their entitlement, emotions, and ego steer them away from appropriate behaviors and misdirect them from sound judgment and a mature mindset. The result is a bizarre, strange, uneven personality. This could be described politely as eccentric. But the toxic, malignant narcissists are maintaining with this void a black hole that they have even when they are very successful. Because the successful narcissist is very isolated and many people are catering to the mask, these delusional and disconnected narcissists never really touch the ground. They don't have a good grasp on where reality begins and ends. This type of successful narcissist can present very articulately pontificating about the roles, the mask, and seem highly attractive. Though they are in a quagmire that they don't know how to get out of. Because the successful narcissist is isolated and trapped by their situation, they are unable to get the external and internal resources to put themselves together. The creature's being is incomplete despite having all the material and physical 
indications of success. That's why sometimes you see celebrities that completely don't know how to behave. They get very upset at any sign of any perceived slight. This is their abandonment issues and their intolerance. They are unable to accept ambiguity. They cannot accept things not being exactly what they expect. That's why they can be more insecure than anyone that you've ever met. For these egotistical, successful narcissists, they think that they deserve all the oxygen in the room. That's why sometimes you'll see some celebrities become completely unhinged. Successful narcissists with their huge egos, entitlement, and arrogance can be extremely angry and offended if they get the sense that they are being rejected. They are so thin-skinned and pampered that they don't know what to do with these types of feelings. And because their ego is injured, they can take deep offense. Even when there was no rejection, they will just fill in the blanks. It is very important to be aware when there is toxicity or narcissists around you. Interactions with a malignant narcissist disjointed being is about control, entitlement, sometimes threats from an immature grown person. It is important to study narcissistic personality disorder because narcissists are predictable. When you can detach and think back, you can finally identify what that was. It has a name, narcissistic personality disorder. Please share this information so others are not harmed abused and confused. If you want to learn more, see this video next. Thank you for watching. If you would like to donate to my channel, my PayPal link is in the description below. If you found this content interesting or helpful, please comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for when I upload new content. Thank you for watching.